Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Pug Crusade and today we will be looking at a fan's petting zoo. So this fan, her name is Coco, she has given us permission to look at her rosy thoroughbred petting zoo. Also, I just want to say real quick, her horse is so cute. I love the prismatics that she did for it. It's adorable. So yeah, this is Coco. She has a rosy thoroughbred set which is the thoroughbred from the latest Valentine event and and I think she says she has like 30 of them, something along those lines. So I will be asking her a couple of different questions about them while looking over them. So with that, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right then, so I just let Coco know to head over to her petting zoo and oh my gosh, I think she has more than 30. Look how cute her island is, by the way. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, look how many there are, and there's some in the barn too. So, oh my word. So let's go ahead and get down, and let's take a look in here. Oh my gosh, some of these are so cool looking. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, they're so cute, guys. Look at Cat. Cam chamomile chamomile i think it's a type of tea these are so cute dandelion male male woman oh my gosh i love all of these these are so great so let's go ahead and take a look at one of these let's see ging and ham get <laughs> let's take a look at male woman real quick so here she is this is what the rosy thoroughbred looks like and this is her i love this this is the cutest theming i have seen and then again i haven't been to very many petting zoos but this is so cute so she has she's like the classic look i think for them the short love fade she's so cute and she's clingy and she was wild caught on february 12th so since we just looked at male woman let me go ahead and ask coco how many horses she has here in total all right there we go let's see what she says it's so bright in here too she has a big oh my gosh let's see 36 oh it is 30 oh my gosh so 36 in total oh my gosh they're so cute let's take a look at a couple more so we have mr goldflake wait i love your hat mister oh he's hiding behind tiger lily oh both of these guys are really cute actually let's see what's tiger lily's stats she has jack-o-lantern fade over here bubbles bubbles has a really neat fade i believe that is from the summer event let's take a look yeah weather oh wait maybe not weather magic fade this baby is absolute like she's a speed demon we need to take a look at her azalea she is adorable but she's so fast i don't know if that's a glitch or if she's just like insane like it doesn't say i don't know if she's the fastest foal to ever exist or what but she is one speedy little girl over here i think this might be an independent one yep of course gingingham gingingham i think that's how you say that i hope he's really cute too i think she has a lot of clingy ones all right so I asked her which of these horses is your favorite because I'm really curious because she has she has a ton guys I can't imagine how much time she must have put into getting all of these I mean like I know they're not like they're not nearly as rare as say titles but they're still pretty rare so I'm assuming this took her a long time oh pumpkin pie he's grumpy that's really cute too whipped cream she says she really likes gingham Oh, that's so cute. I think he's this one over there, if I remember right. This poor guy. Poor, poor man. But I am going to do a quick speed run of these, showing off some of my personal favorites I've seen so far out here in the yard. And you guys can take a look too. White Rose. River. I really like her. Tulip. Mr. Gold Flakes. Bubbles. And of course, male woman. All right, so I'm going to see if we can go inside her barn now. And maybe she'll give us a little tour. All right, she said yes, so let's go ahead and head over here. I just love this little heart she has up here too. It's adorable. So let's see. Look how cute these are. Harriet, oh my gosh. And it has the heart halo, which is adorable too. Oh my gosh, let's take a look at this guy. What's his name? Elfon? <laughs> He's great. Oh my gosh, I love him. And this is amazing. I really like that she used the elf fade. That goes almost perfectly with the rosy. 
Oh my gosh, it's a girl, guys. Of course it's a girl. Okay, correction. I love her. She is super cute. It matches me. Look at that. Fisherman, we could be like besties. Wow, that is so cute. I love the purple. So let's quickly ask her another question about her lovely facility she has here. All right, so I'm asking her how long she thinks it took her to get all, oh, oh my goodness, <laughs> to get all of these lovely horses because I'm assuming it took her quite a while. These are so like, there's so many of them and they're so cool looking. I'm assuming it took her forever just to get them and then she put on all the tack and everything. Oh wow, okay, she says it only took her like two weeks of the event. That's really sure if I was making a petting zoo, which I have actually attempted and I have a bit of one, but I do not have 36 of a horse. Uh, she says two weeks of the event, that's like barely any time to make a petting zoo, I feel like. Now let's continue giving the tour. Who's this girl here, boy? Oh, he's a soldier, of course. Wow, he, he does look like a soldier with all that camo on. Also, I do like that she uses the western saddles. I've seen quite a few and I ride western in real life mainly, so I am really happy to see so much of it. Soldier's one of her favorites. <gasps> I see why, he's super cute. Who's this guy? Grassy? I think that's his name. <laughs> Grassy, I like that. Let's take a look at Grassy real quick. Ooh, like his saddle. What saddle is that, I wonder? Is there a way to see? Oh, I guess not, but that is a super cool saddle. I don't know like what material that is. Maybe it's just emerald, but that is really cool. Then we have Rosemary, I think. Oh, and it's a boy as well. You know what? I think she has... I was th I was thinking that she had more girls than boys in this petting zoo, but I actually think it's pretty easy. Oh, Rosemarine was her first one. Oh, of course I misspell adorable. He's super cute. Aw. I really like his antenna and the fireplace is really cool as well. Oh, another purple. I'm going straight to the purple. Quentin. Oh my gosh. What a fabulous name. I love Quentin. He might be one of my favorites. I don't know why. I feel like the purple, you know, no. I feel like if it's purple, we have a connection, Quentin. It's lovely. <laughs> oh, dear. But he's really cool looking, too. All the purple. And this guy over here, Butterfly. Very unique looking as well. Go away, I'm emo. I like it. I like him as well. I feel like he might also be another one. I have a lot of favorites so far. I really like Male Woman. And I really like Quentin. Go away, I'm emo is really cool as well. I love that she got the Halloween crown for him. That is perfect. <laughs> I told, I said he is perfect. Um, he is emo. He is beautiful. He is, he is a beautiful little horse right there. All right, let's come over here. Big Nyx. Ooh, I like that fire breathing. That is very, very cool. I actually want to have another look at him. He is unique. I like him. I don't know why, but the like red looks very very striking on them and i really like it that is really cool his favorite food is hay he's a simple he's a simple man mare he's a simple mare that's what i said all along Ooh, look at this one this one has like baby blue frozen rose that is a cute one then we have cotton ball super cute as well coconut Ooh, might want to see coconut that's super cute I like that she she went with the, the whole theming along with the name. That's fun. Velvet Heart Rock. She's tall. This one's tall. Wow, she is big. Let's take... Hold on. I actually want to quickly see. She's also grumpy. She's going to smack me upside the head. She's 16.3. So yeah, she is a pretty big thoroughbred. Croissant. Oh my gosh. It's it's croissant. Oh my gosh, it's croissant. I found, I found the soulmate. <laughs> That's so funny. Look how fantastic the tack is as well. That's really cool. She says, yes, it is indeed my soulmate. Wow, that is gorgeous. I love I love him. Very, very cool. Of course, oh my gosh, do I want to ride a, a foal? Of course I want to ride a foal. That would be amazing. I don't know, how do we ride a foal? Can we do this? Okay, she's going to go get her. I will come as well. 
I will. <laughs> I would like to ride this full. Oh my gosh, her horse is just what a loyal horse, Dexter. You are very loyal. Oh my gosh, she got her out. How do you ride? Invited me to double ride. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can ride the foal. I'm not moving, but I can ride her. Wow, this is this is amazing. <laughs> She's so cute. Look at her go. She. She must be the strongest foal. Oh my gosh, she is so strong. Oh, along with the fact, like, I have made my avatar one of the tallest possible. So the she is carrying a lot of extra weight. She is, she is going to be a champion. <laughs> she is going to be quite the buff little horse by the time we're done. Holy moly. Yeah, she, we just need to find a driving harness her size. Oh my gosh, that is great. As soon as we find one, she will be a champion. All right, so now to wrap up our lovely tour, I am going to ask her a couple more questions while we sit here on this bench and watch these guys run around some more. So the first question I am going to ask her is, did you catch or buy most of the horses yourself or did you trade for them? Because I am really curious because if she caught all of these, that would have taken forever. So I am curious to what the answer is going to be. She says that she actually caught most of them, which I'm really impressed by. That is, that's a lot. The next question I'm going to be asking her is how many horses would she like to have in the zoo? All right, so let's see. I'm really curious, like, I'm wondering if, does she want to have like a hundred? That would be a lot. It would be very impressive, but I don't know. I don't know how ethical that would be. <laughs> in reality, I'm not sure how ethical it would be, but it would be super cool here. So she says currently she only intends to have 36 because that's all the barn fits. But one day if there's bigger barns and pastures, then she would indeed want more. Which I feel like that is that is a great answer for that because 36, you know, if that's all that the current entirety of the barn and stuff allows. then you know that that makes sense. It makes sense. So that's a good answer. My final question for Coco is, did you did you know from the start of the event that you wanted a petting zoo? Uh, I'm assuming the question is going to be answered with a yes, unless she was like debating between two of the event horses, which would make sense. So let's see. Oh, okay. Coco says when she saw the rosy TBs and the pink heart quarter horses, she she wanted a petting zoo but decided to do the rosy thoroughbred because the quarter horse was too easy to get, which does make a lot of sense because I feel like if you did go with the quarter horse, you would have like an influx, like just too many. It would be, there would be a lot, a lot of them. So that was the final question I have for Coco, but before we leave, I do have a special gift for her. Right, so I picked out this gift for Coco because I think she'll like it. And I'm thinking that she can take it in case there is a bigger barn update or a bigger pasture that I think this would be a perfect addition for it so she could add it to her petting zoo. <laughs> She said, how do you know I like those? It was a very lucky guess. Yay! Oh, I'm glad she likes it. Hope I'm really hopeful that there will be another pasture update. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did. Thank you so much to Coco for letting me come and tour this place. It is so, so cool. I loved hanging out with you, Coco. If you have a petting zoo or would just like to be able to meet me and hang out with me for a video, feel free to join my Roblox group, which is called Little Croissants. This is actually where I met Coco and she told me all about her petting zoo. So if you would like to be in a video, make sure you go and join. Thank you again so much to Coco for letting me come and tour this place. Make sure you let me know down below in the comments if you have a favorite rosy thoroughbred that you saw here. And I hope to see you guys really soon. Bye!